I think we can all agree that the resources on how to become a UI UX designer online, of course, is a bit to saturate it. Yes, you can go to a college or a university, take an online course and et cetera, et cetera, but what is the right answer? It took me to become a full-time designer. I think about, my God, it's like 13 years ago. So I think it was about less than six months, like five months maybe. Broke it down in very simple steps in how you guys can become a full-time UI UX designer. So the first thing to get started is to gain knowledge in how to become a UI and UX designer. Like, what are they? What should I do? What do I need? So that's the first thing. So a lot of people will think that, hey, maybe I should go to a university or I'll go to one of the best colleges in my city or in my country, spend three years, I think it's three years, you have to go there and learn full time and then probably spend like tens and thousands of dollars, like 20, 30 grand, which I highly recommend do not do it. It's a waste of your time and it's a waste of money. That shit's expensive. The best thing about our field is that you don't need to go to a university or college to get a job. It's all about your interview skills, your portfolio and experience. So the best thing I would tell you to do is go online and search for the best uh, online certified course for your country or city. Um, in Canada, Linda works very great. I think Google is also selling their course for UX UI design, so go ahead and check that out. I don't think it doesn't matter what country you're in because as long as you get certified, oh well, as long as you take an online course from Google, then you have a better odds of winning and getting a job. Uh, there is, I think, lynda.com, Skillshares, Udemy, so I will link all of them below. So you guys can go ahead and check it out. I, I make no money whatsoever if you register and take courses from them or not. But to actually help me, you can like this video, subscribe and click on the bell icon here. Yeah. So let's assume that you have taken an online course from Google, their UI UX design course. And in this conversation, say it's a six month program, obviously way cheaper, the ch cheaper than paying for a college. But yeah, so you have taken that. Uh, what now, what should you do next? So, okay, so the first thing I would highly recommend, and this is something that Ivan did. I just kept doing a lot of UI design and back in the days it was in Photoshop. So in this, in this case, I would definitely recommend you to learn two major software that's killing the UI software game. Number one is Figma and number two is Adobe XD. It doesn't matter if you're a big Figma fanboy and great, you love the community. I mean, Figma, Figma community is amazing, but when you're applying for a job, companies either only use, well, some companies will either only use Adobe XD or some of them will only use Figma because you're a Figma fan, that's really not going to help you get that job because they only use Adobe XD. So I highly recommend, play around with those two tools. If you are designing a five page website responsive in Figma, then do the same thing in Adobe XD. Just keep doing it every day or every week. Uh, number two is start a personal project. So when I was extremely young, like 10 years old or something like that, I, I started my own personal project. First, Dragon Ball Z website where I did, well, web design but ui ux design i did coding and also programming because of that i understood how uh, what i need in order to build a website i've understood well fair amount since i was young uh, i have i've understood about what the what the users needs are and all of that ux technical stuff and then in my 20s i built my startup which is zaboom.com over there it was a complete responsive platform it, it, it had a very high mobile present. I had a business partner who took care of all the technical things. And that really helped me leverage my uh, portfolio game and also get a lot of interviews and also great jobs. So practice your UI skill set and also start uh, your own personal project. So if you're someone who is into tech project, then create a tech blog website maybe. If you really love YouTube, then I highly recommend you to, re to redesign some portion of YouTube, maybe their mobile platform, maybe how the subscription category is, or how to leverage existing YouTube users to watch your video platform. I don't know, but I'm going to let you let your imagination run wild. The next step would be is to create your portfolio. Now, 
this is a very, this, this is a, I would definitely say that this is a very hard part because if you're someone who doesn't have experience, how do you build a goddamn portfolio for him? What is this? Are you scamming us here? Is this a clickbait <laughs> YouTube channel? I have made a portfolio video and I, and I think I've made it a two or three. I will link them below. It's how to create a UI UX design portfolio without any experience or even a degree. So I will link that below. Go ahead. It's very detailed. I worked very hard on it and I think it's quite easy to understand. Yeah? So now that you have a certified course, you have your portfolio ready, the, the next step would definitely be your resume. Whatever you include in your resume, make sure you create a LinkedIn and just copy paste that shit. It's, don't make it complicated. Use keywords that is in the job that you're looking for. So uh, my portfolio is great. I get DMs from recruiting agencies all the freaking time asking for like, hey, there's a new principal designer role. There's a new senior software designer role. Are you interested? No, I'm not interested, okay? I just got in five months ago to another company. That was for real. Yeah, so it's for me, it's been working great, probably because I have 13 years of experience. I don't know what the answer is, but I have been in the LinkedIn game for a very long time before LinkedIn even became f uh, famous. It's one of the best resources to use to get yourself out there, uh, network, and also share your work. So now that you have all of those, the question is, wait, Fahim, but how do I get a job? Like, how do I become a full-time UX UI designer? The good news is, nowadays in Canada, and I know in US as well, great agencies out there that are looking for you. So if you spend a strong amount of time building a portfolio and also uh, networking in LinkedIn, therefore you have a very higher chance on getting hired. Let me show you on my LinkedIn how to do this, yeah? So this right here is my LinkedIn account. You can see off the bat, I have the senior product designer at Blackcard. So when a recruiter is looking for a senior product designer in Canada or in US and is looking to hire someone from Toronto, there's a higher chance that they would find me because my title is a senior product designer and I also have my uh, city right over here. So that's a very fast way to get discovered. Trust me, this has been working for me for a, for a very long time. When you go at the bottom, everything that I've included on my resume is also added here. The only thing that, that I don't have right now is the adplist.org and senior product designer because I got hired like five months ago and I don't need to add this right now. All of the titles that I have, I have mentioned here is searchable in LinkedIn so product design mentor senior product designer product design educator uh, senior product designer UX UI and then senior product designer web architect UX design make sure you're quite descriptive in terms of what you're trying to explain um, your role was in LinkedIn so this is something that I have done research and I looked into other designers who work for great brands and what they have mentioned and that's how I came up with my explanation on what I exactly did. Also, I'm able to explain this perfectly when I'm being interviewed. So don't add anything fancy which you really cannot explain while you're being interviewed. That is like the worst thing you can do. If you cannot do that on an interview, no matter um, how great you think the interview was, you're definitely not going to get that job. So make sure to explain it quite briefly i mean I, I just wrote what adp list is i'm probably gonna finish out later yeah recommendations i don't know i never had a i never had a recruiter who said that hey i have i have read your recommendation on linkedin that's why you're here for an interview that never really happened to me so i'm not sure how important this is nowadays but yeah this isn't important either i mean linkedin launched this about like god knows in 2012 or something like that this, this is completely useless. Don't focus on that languages. Focus on that interest. That's totally up to you if you want to add that or not. But let me give you a very good example here. Yeah. So you go to LinkedIn search and type, uh, yeah, right here. So you type talent partner and you can see a bunch of, uh, well, you can see there's a fair amount of people that are looking for uh, designer. So talent partner at this company, at uh, Shopify, and then you have a junior talent partner, which is great if you're, if you're a junior designer, yeah? This is an agency, I believe. And then this is another corporate company, which is not that good. But anyways, uh, yeah, so you have a whole bunch of them. And this is another great company. Look, join our team, right? Talent partner at Flip, and then so on, so on and so forth. Talent partner at IBM. And then when I go next, I will see, it just goes on. It just goes on. If you are shy to like, you know, DM them, the best thing to do is just click connect. 
don't go for like major brands. Do not go for Facebook or Nike or like Microsoft. I'm not trying to like demotivate you guys. What I'm trying to say is like, go to a talent partner and find any small businesses that are looking to take a junior designer. I think that would be a very uh, great start and that's something that I have done when I started. And last but not least, make sure to be consistent. Keep practicing over and over again and also do not give up. It doesn't matter if you say went to 10 different interviews or even some companies has interviewed you three times and then you had a few other interviews from, from different, different companies. It's been like four months and you still didn't get a job. That is okay. Make sure to enjoy the process. There were times where I had close to 30 interviews. I think it was literally five months straight and I didn't get a single job. So it happens to the best of us. Doesn't mean that you have a very weak skill set or you suck or anything like that. Absolutely not. Cause you don't know what's happening behind the scenes. So don't let something that which you cannot control discourage you on becoming a designer. There's a very great community. Make sure to enjoy the process. Do not give up. If you have any question, message your boy in the comments below. If you're interested to know how to build your portfolio, I have made those videos in the past. I have the video in my end card. So at the end of this video, it's probably gonna be here or here. I'm kind of taking a risk. I don't know where I'm gonna put this, but yeah, it will definitely be uh, linked below. I have a, f uh, I, I have a free UX UI design course. I'll link that below as well. Check out my channel, guys. I got good content. I got some good content, dog. So yeah, until then, Peace out.